here with this week's episode of LCC Kids TV, season four, episode number 55. This week's episode is entitled Jot It Down. And when I think about jotting it down, I think about the fact that I traditionally will keep a pen with me all the time, as well as something in which to jot things down in, because I don't want to forget anything. So in this little pad of paper, I have my shopping list. I have things that I need to do and remember to do, all this and so much more. But what does jotting it down have to do with God? Well, let's find out in this week's episode. Before we start, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of being able to write things down. We pray that you would open our hearts and minds and ears that we might listen and learn from what you want to tell us today. We pray all of this in Jesus' name, amen. Well, it's time to worship. for saving me thank you god for saving me rescue from the middle of the ocean deep rescue from the middle of the ocean deep you set my feet on solid ground you set my feet on solid ground i once was lost but Hi kids! You know what? King David wrote songs and poems, a lot of them praising God and showing admiration. Writing was his way of putting his feelings before God. Miriam the prophet and Deborah the judge both wrote songs after big moments in their lives. Letting out their feelings, they created beautiful poetry for God. Using pen was good for the soul and helped remember 
all God had done. And we call this Bible journaling. Journaling is simply involves making record of something. And Bible journaling reflects someone's personality, spiritual growth, and processing pathway. It is focused on the intimate spiritual life and growth of the writer. The Bible is a collection of journaling. Like King David provided insight into his personal spiritual journal through the Psalms, a poetic and musical journal. Much of the Bible is God's inspired word essentially being passed through the journals of faithful followers. So, how about try writing for yourself? For the next two weeks, every time you feel sad or happy, grab a pen and a notebook or your tablet. Jot down your thoughts and feelings. Be completely honest. If you're fuming mad, write it. If you're glad God answered a prayer, create a thank you note to Him. Even if you feel like you hate someone, get it out on paper. After two weeks, go back and read what you wrote. Repeat it out loud to God if you're proud of it or need His help. If you notice that you need to address a problem or a sin, fess up. Then write a concluding prayer about all that you felt and thought about during those two weeks. Do this writing exercise anytime you need to figure out feelings or know that you need more time with God. It worked for King David, it will work for you too. Bible journaling will help us in our spiritual growth. It creates good habits and help us stay focused, meditate on God's word and become more prayerful. It lets us see God in action and reminds us to trust Him. And it offers a wonderful way to look back at the seasons you used to be in and the way God has been shaping you and be grateful about it. Though the Bible does not directly mention journaling, it does encourage reflection and self-examination like what in Psalms 139 verses 23 to 24 says. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties, and see if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. This can be achieved through the practice of journaling, which is fun and meaningful way to help us grow closer to Jesus and establish lifelong faith habits. So kids, starting today, don't hesitate to jot it down everything about your journey with God. Have a blessed day.
develops over time. It starts with your pictures and progresses to letters and sounds, and then that you can put, you can then put those things together to journal and write. And it's a skill that develops over time that you can use to helpfully organize your brain and all of your thoughts, ideas, and feelings with the small things like your grocery list, like your things that you need to get done, like noticing that the moon was really beautiful and you just went right now. As well as all the big things in your heart, like your feelings and your emotions and the things that happen that you just can't get over. The things you want to remember because you know that this is significant. So it doesn't feel like writing it down manually isn't always the right form that your writing needs to take. So at God's encouragement, we see that there is more. There's another way of writing. It says in Exodus 17 verse 14, then the Lord said to Moses, write this down on a scroll as a permanent reminder and read it out loud to Joshua. That reading out loud, keep that in your head. And at Jeremiah's, or in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 20, God, he says that if he had kept inside and not written down in poetic form, by the way, keep that poetry thing in your head, if he had kept it inside, all of his feelings about what he was experiencing, if he had kept inside and not written down what God was telling him, it was like a fire that burned inside of him. And if he wouldn't have gotten all of it down, if he wouldn't have written it down in poetry and said something, then it would have consumed him from inside, just like a real fire. And our emotions are like that. So, Poetry, which actually is the entire book of the Psalms and Proverbs in the smack dab middle of your Bible, by the way, including a lot of the rest of scripture all everywhere. Poetry is one of the ways that we can express all of the big feelings, whether joy over an answered prayer or praise or sadness and anger and angst and frustration and fear and doubt, all of it. Part of the benefit of being friends with God is the fact that we know that when we talk to God, whether it's written down or not, is the fact that he answers and he hears and he cares and he's going to do something about it. But the benefit in writing it down is that you can go back to it and see all of the amazing ways that God has answered and responded to you. So, what are you waiting for? Jot the things down. Take up the challenge and write down in poetic form or not, whether with your pictures, your letters and sounds, or actual complete full writing at your ability. Jot it down because we have a God who is listening and he's your best friend. He wants to hear all of it. So two questions. Number one, what's your opinion about writing? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Why or why not? And number two, how can you use writing to grow in your friendship with God? As we wrap this up, let's pray. God, writing is a skill that I can develop with your help. If it worked for David and so many others, maybe it could work for me. Help me to develop my skill of writing that I might grow in my relationship with you. I pray all of this in Jesus' name, amen. Well, it's time to let your light shine. Bye.